My first question when a student comes into my office is, well, who are you? I got several acceptance letters, but the one I wanted to go to was John Jay, and I was very ecstatic, and I told my mom. As soon as I got it, Mom, I'm going to John Jay. <laughs> it was like a whole sea of students, and I was mixed in there somehow, and everyone's trying to find somewhere to go. And it was chaos, it was confusion, but it was also invigorating. When you look at John Jay College, you're looking at a microcosm of New York City, a way to identify who's coming to the United States, who's coming to New York. I was born in India, but at the age of five, I came to the United States. My parents are immigrants from Mexico, and I am the first in my family to attend college. So when you think about investing in the students of John Jay, you are really investing in a global future. And uh, the donors who have come forward over the years, and we hope will come forward in years to come, are really sensing that they're making a difference in the life of our city by investing in our students. I live out in Queens, uh, Corona, Queens. If I could squeeze a little space down the chair between somebody or if it's standing up, I read and try to get ahead. I came in here and if I wanted something, I'm going to work towards it. And to, to receive financial support was big for me. The monies that are charged for tuition here is a very important element. It's not easy. Many of them are still working and we really do need more support. And they will return it to society in many, many different ways. I grew up in a neighborhood where people were happy if you graduated from high school. I would sometimes come to class with my daughter and leave her with another student. I decided to endow the Children's Center here because I know the struggles of being a student and a young parent. Even though I have been telling my parents I was going to be a lawyer since I was 12 years old, I don't think any of them believe me. And I was heart set in being a lawyer since I was the age of seven. And then it wasn't until I came here at John Jay College when I ended up having a professor here. And I told her I wanted to go to law school and she asked me, she was like, why? And I'm like, why not? <laughs> and I think that was the first time I actually asked myself, what is it that I wanted to do? So my internship placement for Vera Fellowship is the Vera Institute of Justice for the Center on Youth Justice. We learn topics like structural violence and then we learn about just different ecosystems and exosystems that play a, a part in what happens to a, a, a juvenile. This is the, exactly the kind of opportunity we want to give our John Jay College students. I think that the faculty is here to serve the students. What motivated me was the need for students to have exposure to the arts. Our students are the next generation of public servants. They're the next generation of thinkers, of doers. I was always very scared because English was my second language. So I remember this time where we had been working on a project for many weeks and the professor said, your group is going to go today. And I was really nervous, but I got up in front of 100 people and I started giving the presentation and achieving that reward really helped me fulfill myself. A scholarship which I received at the end of my freshman year was the Pre-Law Scholars Program Scholarship. The scholarship allowed me to go to Buffalo Law School, spend a whole summer there taking classes with law professors. Those are all high impact practices. We've seen the impact on those students that in many ways when we first uh, encountered them in the classroom, they were in a very precarious situation. We have 10% of our student population right now that qualify for food stamps. And, and you would ask them, oh, so what did you have to eat today? When's your next class? Oh, I have a class at three. No, I haven't, I haven't had anything to eat because oftentimes they have to budget um, to be able to afford maybe one meal. That's 1,500 young adults pursuing their education and yet obviously struggling. When I received the email from financial aid that I was awarded the scholarships, they were around the same time and it was about $2,000 that I was receiving. If it weren't for those scholarships, I wouldn't have been able to come for the following semester. I would have been placed behind. It was a very relieving moment for me and my family. Well, my mom and I, since it's only the both of us. I have spina bifida, so I can't walk very well, and I kind of walk like a penguin, but I can walk um, a short distance if I wanted to. I received the scholarship, the MBJ scholarship for students with disabilities. Um, what I used that is I went to go to Japan, Kyoto, and it was an amazing experience. And their facilities are very universal. So what I want to do is get the services from developed countries, connecting them to those young adults with disabilities in developing countries. Students who do have these experiences, they're, they're transformed as students, but really they're transformed as people. John Jay is becoming the centerpiece 
of appropriate and educated and thoughtful dialogue around some of the most important issues of our time. From a financial perspective, it is making this college the best that it can possibly be. The mission in terms of inspiring and inciting justice and the pursuit of justice in so many different ways, that's bigger than all of us.